Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on lessons in chemistry, a new show on Apple TV that combines both Brie Larson, uh, sort of a 50s kind of aesthetic, and of course, feminism. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys, books 1 through 12, available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. October uh, 3rd, I think. 13th. That's a perfect Halloween movie. Feminism. <laughs> it's so scary. Uh, Brie Larson plays a woman, uh, an empowered woman, in a time where she had to be married. And uh, she is a chemist. And, of course, is the best chemist. And they won't listen to her, even though she knows everything. <laughs> and Rain Wilson plays one of the men who tells her she can't do nothing. And so she is eventually hired to do a cooking show, because cooking is basically chemistry. And she has a platform. And then she uses her platform to fight injustice. Because it's... Uh, uh, civil rights time, so she she fights based on the global phenomenon. What what would that be? I guess it was uh, something called lessons in chemistry. I I don't think this is based on a true story. Um, but okay, sure, you could do this. I guess. I is there an audience for this? I don't know. It looks like they spent a lot of money. October thirteenth. Social justice in the 50s. You know, when it was always happening. <laughs> oh, those men. Why, why will those men not stop? Um, okay, I guess you could try to do yet another woke character with Brie Larson. And and uh, I, I guess you can't promote it right now. I... I I bet you're counting your blessings for that, Apple TV, eh? Hey, eh? Huh? <laughs> She's not allowed to promote anything, because none of the actors are. I mean, it looks like... Uh, it should be called Lessons in Feminism. That's what it <laughs> looks like. Uh, you know, it's not, it's not all that clever. Oh, uh, you know, cooking's basically chemistry, and then I use my plat... I become super famous, and then I use my platform to fight justice. Okay. Um, everything's about fighting injustice these days. Everything's about things that take place in the past. Uh, how about doing this show in the modern era? Oh, right. Uh, probably, probably couldn't come up with anything. Because people don't watch cooking shows. People don't watch television anymore. And uh, you wouldn't be able to lean on the past and say, Oh, yeah, back then, the patriarchy. I don't know. Was this a book? I assume it was some book. Uh, I can't do a three-act breakdown. And there's really nothing here. Oh, here we go. I shared the book with everyone I know. Bree is the perfect star. The perfect show. Can't wait. I need this movie to be as good as the book because the book is magnificent. It's a, a TV show. It's not a book. A uh, movie. I like Brie Larson. She reminds me of one of the women from the Hitchcock movies. I don't agree with everything she says, but she's entitled to her opinion, and she is a very talented actress. Look forward to watching this. These are the comments. Oh, pretty good comments so far. Chills. Engrave. Another Emmy for Brie Larson. <laughs> uh, I don't know if these are real comments. I, I'm wondering. The science of cooking. Loving husband and children who appreciate the cook is optional. Huh? Uh, that's refreshing. Brie. Heart. Is this about the woman who invented stove stuffing? <laughs> uh, it's beyond me how she gets work. I guess we're getting to the men's comments now. At least they moved on from misrepresenting actual historical figures and events to entirely fictional tale of oppression. <laughs> yeah, that's what it feels like. I thought the book was utterly dreadful. And in casting old Brie, they've done the impossible and found a way to make television adaption even more annoying. Wow. All right, Joe. Come over here. I'm trying to read these comments. I'm having a good time. 
looks good. Did this really need a creepy slowed down pop song for this trailer? It seems seems like you're complaining about the wrong thing, but okay. There are so many movies coming out, even though the writer strikes are going on. These movies must have been finished before the strike. Effing hilarious. Harry Styles song. Holy anachronism. <laughs> yeah. Looks good, but color grading is a huge turnoff for me. Weird what people get turned off by, right? I mean, that's weird, right? It's like, oh, that's that's what's turning you off? Gonna be a pass for me. Uh, let's go way down to the bottom where I assume the comments are just brutal. This is going to trigger the SDE crowd. I don't know what that is. This looks whack. Larson, bleh. Should be called Lessons in Acting. <laughs> Horrible performances as Captain Marvel, LOL. Cringe feminism. How many times are we going to make the same 10 movies over and over and act like this is edgy? Starting to look silly. People want to be entertained, not lectured. Yeah, I would agree with that assessment. This looks like that Olivia Wilde thing, right? Uh, I forget what it was called. Only it's a TV show. My gosh, Bree! You know, I always root for your success. Such a great storyline for today's society. And I'm talking about you people who constantly throw a pit. I think you mean fit just because you can't see her potential. Hey, genius, who's going to write a comment on me? Please refrain from commenting bad words or I will report you. Uh -uh. So, very threatening. Stone-faced, emotionless scientist and man-hating feminist all rolled into one. Brie was made for this role. Here we go again with another girl boss movie that nobody will watch. Yeah, more politics, blah, blah, blah. It's, it, it is tiresome. So they call it a global phenomenon. So I assume it's a book. Sounds like it's a book. And it's like, what, what global phenomenon are you talking about? I've never heard of this book. But you might say, well, it's not aimed at you, man. True, I guess. Uh, it just doesn't seem all that great. You know, it just seems to be a bunch of feminism crammed into a time period. So that would mean the feminism would kind of work. Newsflash, feminism came up in the 70s, and that's when all this stuff was happening. That's kind of when it was all happening. You know? And even in the 50s, it wasn't like men were constantly, we have to keep these women down, damn it! Uh, some guys were a asshats. Yeah, that is true. Uh, but a lot of them were very respectful of their wives. It was a different time. You were expected to protect your wife and, you know, provide for her and all those uh, positive things that women are missing out on now. Uh, go to a dating app sometime and listen to the women ask for all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, I want somebody to provide for me and take me on vacation. It's like, yeah, what do I get? Oh, possibly a divorce. Hey, sounds great. Sign me up. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't... I, I couldn't watch this. I, I could I could barely stomach the trailer. And uh, I think it's just, you know, a lot of fanfare for nothing. Rain Wilson. I mean, look, again, if you're an actor, you got to act, you got to eat. You're going to be in woke stuff and just go, well, I don't care. I didn't write it. Um, but, you know, you talk yourself into, oh, it's, at least my performance will be good. That kind of thing. I certainly spent some money on it. I don't even I can't even see what it's about, really, other than a lecture. There's a scene where she actually is like, "Well, why don't you, why don't the men do things? <laughs> the men were doing things. That that's the point. There was a deal there. It wasn't like the men were doing nothing. Well, what if I had a hard day at home? Yeah, you might have a hard day at home cleaning. Uh, I don't know. I I. Clean the house. It's not that hard. It's not rocket science. Um, you know, if you if you want to like be obsessive about it, yeah, uh, it could take you a long time. I mean, I suck at it. I'm not gonna lie. I suck at it, but I can do it. <laughs> you know, it's it's not like the end all be all. Okay. And I get it. You want a nice house. You want to be able to... But, like, you don't have a family. Then there's, what are you having a nice house for? Your cats? Anyhow. Um, yeah, I, I... 
what is it about? I mean, it's about a woman who, a girl boss who uh, takes on the patriarchy, takes on everything. Look, look at look at this. <laughs> I stand with these people as their justice. I'm going to change the world with my cooking show. And then it won't be a cooking show. It'll be a chemistry show. I was thrown out of chemistry unfairly. I'm a genius. Who wants to see this? Who is this for? I don't know. Just It just seems like these shows are for reinforcing uh, narratives that are just completely fictitious at this point. Are we going to... I guess we're just going to get fake history at some point. And it's kind of fake history. You know, you might say, well, they just made it up and it takes place in that time. No, they're really being disingenuous to the time period, I think. Um, so... They, they're just hyper-focused on one aspect of that time period. As if everybody was like that. Every man was like, well, a woman doing things? Well, I never. You know, there were women before this. They ruled countries. <laughs> they were known. So it wasn't like that was the complete attitude. It was like most women were homemakers. So what? Some women weren't. A handful weren't. Okay. I mean, I guess you want to... And then, uh, what are you going to do? Make your boyfriend watch this thing? I, I wouldn't watch this. I don't, I don't care how hot she is. I'm not watching this. Is this Brie Larson? What, are you kidding me? Uh, I guess you got to get this out before the Marvels come out. And then, and then what? Uh, save your money, Brie. And that's it for me, Tony D, and Little Joan. Uh, I am be at the Marcus Hook Pirate Festival. Arg, yar, mateys, down in Marcus Hook, we be talking pirates, and I'll have uh, the pineys. So I hope to see you from eleven to seven. Uh, otherwise, I'll be at the Elk Lodge in Tom's River on on Sunday, the big weekend. So I hope to see you there. Uh, we'll see you in the next one.